Hi everyone. Today's main story uh, from <clears throat> the Ukrainian front is yet another brutal Russian attack against a civilian target. So the town of Chesiv Yar is <clears throat> in the Donbass region and um, for all the Russians' claims that they're there to protect and save people there, they continue striking civilian targets. This is another one of them. Uh, there are people still trapped under the rubble. Uh, there are, you know, people confirmed dead. And generally, I agree with the Ukrainian presidential advisor, uh, Yermak, who called Russia... A terrorist country. Now, this is actually good news, if true, and if they succeed. Allow me to explain. While they're next door neighbors, the path Ukraine and Belarus have taken after the fall of the Soviet Union is drastically different. Ukraine basically has been focusing on identifying its own path as a country, not always successfully, but persistently uh, finding its own identity as part of the European community, as part of the world community. On the other hand, Belarus retained its Soviet status. It's basically been Russia's mini-me for these several decades. And so... The fact that Belarus's own government members and military members are starting to wake up and decide maybe that's not the best thing to be, Russia's mini-me and Russia's, you know, errand boy. That's a good thing. And if they manage to pull off a revolution, Ukraine likely will acquire a very good and very strong ally just across the border. So the first item on the list doesn't surprise me. I'm sure Russians will just accuse Ukrainians of destroying the crops. They don't care that they're initiating the global food crisis. They don't give a shit. The second item concerns me. This is really not a time for internal political squabbling within Ukraine's government, within Ukraine's diplomatic corps. Zelensky needs all the support he can get, and people really need to just pull together, and he, he needs to stop with this stupid shit. Thank you for watching.